this is the fourth the exercise um, in sections of solids so the, the question is a cube of side 30 mm rests on the hp on one of its faces with a vertical face inclined at 40 degree to the vp a plane perpendicular to the hp and inclined at 50 degree to the vp cuts the cube through a point of 4 mm in front of the axis draw the top view and the sectional front view also draw the true shape this question is about a cube of side 30 mm and uh, uh, you know what is a cube uh, all the edges are of equal length that is 30 mm and it is placed on HP in such a way that uh, one of its vertical face actually not just one with two of its vertical faces will be inclined at 40 degree to the VP and uh, uh, now it is sectioned by a section line uh, which is perpendicular to the HP and inclined at 50 degree to the VP the section line is uh, perpendicular to HP and inclined at 50 degree to the VP and uh, uh, it cuts the uh, solid that is uh, cuts the cube through a point 4 millimeter in front of the axis so uh, it's no, not just a point it will be a line line uh, in which uh, through which it is cutting uh, draw the toe view and the sectional front view also draw the toe shape so in this case the sectional plane is uh, perpendicular to the hp and it blend at uh, some angle to the vp so the section plane will be displayed as a straight line or it will be visible as a straight line in the top view so let's see how it is it can be drawn so here is the xy line the first condition is uh, one edge or uh, one face of the uh, cube is inclined at 40 degree to the vp so how that 40 degree can be displayed or can be shown that, is, that 40 degree can be shown in the top view and so like this the, it is inclined at 40 degree uh, to one of the edges of the square in the top view in the square, top view the cube will be displaced as a square so in the top view the square will be drawn in such a way that one of its edges is making an angle of 40 degree with the xy line so this is the case where uh, the vertical face of the cube is inclined at 40 degree to its VP. So that is the condition. Now the points, the coordinates are marked A1, B2, C3 and D4. Then the front view is drawn. Front view is drawn in such a way that uh, the 1, 2, 3 and 4 are the points in the bottom corners are the bottom corners and the a b c and d are the uh, top corners now we must find out the axis in the top view the axis is found out in the top view by drawing the two diagonals the two diagonals of the square in the top view then from the diagonal I mean from the axis from the top view the axis will be the meeting point of these two diagonals that is this point this point will be representing the axis in the top view and from that point a line a line of four millimeter length is drawn this will this the length of this line see there is a small line appearing here this the length of this small line is four millimeter and it is drawn towards the observer towards the observer since uh, uh, we always remove we always try to remove the smaller portion from the uh, section the surface or i mean section to solid so the smaller portion is always towards the uh, portion towards the observer so that is four millimeter this is four millimeter and from that point on this point this newly found out point from this point draw a line which is making an angle of 50 degree with the horizontal that is 50 degree with the pp now in the top view since it is drawn as a line it is uh, a plane which is perpendicular to hp and uh, since it makes an angle of 50 degree with the, the horizontal line 
that means it is 50 degree inclined at uh, VP. So that 50 degree is also marked here. So now this is the section plane in the top view. So now the section plane in the top view is marked as HP, HT. And the newly generated uh, edges are marked now. Now the how to find out the newly generated edges? Whenever the section plane intersects a particular edge in the top view, then there will be two newly generated uh, corners will be there, like this, this point. If we you consider this point, see this point. If you consider this point, there, there is actually the section line is intersecting with a surface there, a surface of the cube there. So there will be two edges. It will be the the section line will be intersecting with the two edges of the cube there. So those two edges will be A D as well as one four. A D as well as one four. The uh, section line will be intersecting with the A D as well as one four in this point. And likewise, in this point here, this point, this point also there will be two points. Uh, it will be the section line will be intersecting with the uh, with the edges B C as well as two three B C as well as two three. So now those points, those newly generated coordinates are marked as P Q R and S. Now, these four points are projected upwards by drawing projectors from PQ as well as RS. Now, P will be the point on the top, Q will be the point here, R will be the point on the top, S will be the point here. So, P dash, Q dash, R dash, and S dash. All the four points are marked in the front view. Now, the section the surface in the front view is marked as P, Q, R, and S. P dash, Q dash, R dash, and S dash. Joining that rectangle using darker lines will give you the section the uh, surface in the front view. So that is hatched. Now, since the portion towards the right of this plane, that is, this part is remains intact, this part remains intact that is p q then d4 c3 and rs this remains intact in the section the surface that portion we have to keep in the front view also because a1 is removed this a dash one dash line need not be drawn darker since that portion is removed likewise b dash two, two dash b2 is removed so that also you can Leave like, uh, leave like uh, how it was already drawn, and do not change just to be done. So, but D4, that point is vis uh, invisible. That is an invisible. That can be drawn as a do dotted line. In the top view, the remaining portion is drawn. In the top view, only this much portion is remaining there. The, as we said earlier, the remaining portion is only remaining there. Uh, is only those portion that is towards the right of this section plane. Now, this portion, this C and the three that remains in the uh, section, the surface section, the plane. So C three, C dash three dash should also be drawn as uh, darker lines in the front view. C dash, three dash. So now that B four, B four will be an invisible edge. It need not be drawn as uh, this uh, dotted lines, but uh, it is always better to draw it as uh, uh, dotted lines since it is invisible. But uh, in the case of section the surfaces, whatever is behind the section surface, uh, need not be drawn dot with the dotted lines. Not necessary actually. So this is. Uh, this the projections of the section solid so let me show it once more the projections of the section the solid only
So first we draw square. We can make an angle of uh, two of its sides, making an angle of 40 degree with the, uh, the x y line. Then the points are marked. Then the points are then the solid is projected to the front view. All the points are marked there. The axis is found out. Four millimeter from the axis, the new point is found out, and through that point, making an angle of 50 degree, you draw at the section plane. Then the newly found, newly uh, formed edges are named PQ and RS, and those newly joined. Uh, edges are formed, uh, marked in the front view p dash q dash r dash s dash then join all those four points p dash q dash r dash and s dash in order to get the uh, section the surface in the front view then the remaining portion of the top view is marked then the remaining portion of the front view is also marked. Now, in order to get the true shape, in order to get the true shape from PQ and RS, from the points PQ and RS, draw two lines which are perpendicular to the section surface. I mean section plane, section plane. So here section plane is the HT perpendicular to HT through the points PQ and RS draw two lines and then another line which is another line x1 y1 which is parallel to this ht this horizontal trace is also drawn another this line this x1 y1 line is parallel to this ht this horizontal trace that is also drawn here now in order to mark the point p or in order to mark the point q the distance of q dash from x y line is taken the distance of q dash from x y line is zero that is q dash coincides with x y so q can be on the x1 y1 line itself or if you want to mark the point p dash the distance of p dash the distance of p dash from x y line is taken that is this much distance that is the height of this uh, cube that is equal to this distance p dash q dash this distance is taken and that distance is marked from x1 y1 line from the x1 y1 line on the projector through p q so this is the point q zero distance then this is the point p this distance now in order to get the point yes this dash is again s dash is again on the x y line itself so the distance is zero so s dash is taken here yes is taken and this is r now join all the four points p q and r and s now hash the line so this is so this is the completed drawing so in order to get the point Q, the distance that have to be measured is the distance from XY line. From the XY line, what is the distance? In order to get the point P, the distance from uh, P dash, the, the distance of P dash from XY line, that is to be taken. The distance of P dash from XY line is equal to the height of the Q. So that is 30 millimeter. So this will be similar to a, a rectangle, I mean the square, but it is not exactly a square it, is, it will be a rectangle the true shape so this is the true shape this shape is the true shape 